Hey guys, it's Artsy Crafty. I'm out with another video, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make an easy beach scene with using only 10 brush strokes. I know it took me a while to post another video, but it took us a while to get 100 views. So my new policy is every 100 views, new video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so for this tutorial, you're going to need some watercolor paper or canvas, a small brush, a medium size, a large size flat brush, a palette knife, a sandy color paint, white blue paint, white paint, dark blue paint, and a palette. Okay, so first we're going to start mixing the colors. So for the sand, you're going to get some sand color. Let's hope it's not too dry. Oh, perfect. All right, awesome. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on here. Squeeze a little bit of white. And you're gonna mix it till you get the shade you want. This is a good color. And then scoop some more on the sides so you can transition. You always need white when it comes to painting. A tiny bit of light blue. This will create the waves about this size. Mix it all up. Now this will be the foamy part of the waves or the part that's closer to the shore. Okay, then you're gonna have your dark blue. Let's hope this is not dried up. Okay, almost dried up. You're going to want to mix these two colors together for the back. And guys, if your paint gets too thick, you always need to dip your palette knife in water. Mix it in with the paint so it's more activated, let's just say that. Okay, so once you have all those paints ready, you can get started. So to get us started, you want to turn your canvas sideways, landscape style. And you're going to start off with your bigger flat brush. So you're going to dip this into your lighter sand color. You're going to paint a line across the bottom of the canvas. Just continue painting the bottom with your lighter sand color. Spread this out more, you can use a little bit of water. Just make sure you cover up all the white spots. Now without washing your brush, you're going to continue with using your darker sand color. Make sure it's somewhat blended like this. Alright, now you're going to wash out this brush because you don't need it right now. Now using your smaller edge brush, you're going to use your lighter blue. This is stroke number three. And if you get this blue line right here, all you gotta do is grab a little bit of light tan and you're gonna paint that on. This gives it a little bit more transparent look and it blends really nicely. Like so. Don't expect it to look perfect because it's not supposed to look. And using your medium sized brush, you're gonna mix some medium light blue with your light blue. And you're gonna paint that above the light light blue. Right here. Make sure you get between the light blue and the other color you just made so it's a good transition. I know I said this is about 10 brush strokes but you need to get some short strokes to mix in all the colors together. But overall it is around 10 brush strokes. Okay next you're going to add some more um, medium blue to this so it transitions. And you're going to paint over here. If 
you want to create little wavy textures, I mean little waves, go for it. It just makes it look a lot better. Now you're going to add more dark blue. No, not dark blue, light blue. Look how beautiful this looks so far. Okay, so you're going to get your very blue and either use your smaller brush or your medium-sized brush. I'm going to do smaller because you need some room for the sky, the clouds, and all that. So you're going to mix that in with your medium blue. And you're going to paint across the top. You're gonna mix your um, light blue with your medium-ish blue. And you're gonna paint the top. This will be the sky. If you want to, you can add the tiniest bit of darker blue and add it to the sky so you have some shadows. So it's not so flat. Okay, now get your lighter blue and you're gonna put that towards the top. to make sure you can tell the difference between the water and sky. Okay, so this is the finished product. Hopefully it looks like this. Hopefully this was an easy tutorial for you guys because painting can be very challenging. And for the ones that are not as experienced, this is the good thing to start off with.